Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Eco Hot Dog, a blend of education and entertainment. Today, we will explain the characteristics of a house sparrow, understand how the birds spend their daily lives, and discuss how we can help them flourish. Make sure you stick around until the end because I'll be telling a little secret about these birds. You definitely don't want to miss it. So let's begin. House sparrows, scientific name Passer domesticus, are small, beautiful birds with a grey and brown plumage. They are gregarious and noisy and usually around 15 centimetres long. By looking at an image of a sparrow here, you will quickly learn how to identify one, but can you differentiate between a male and a female? Males are slightly darker than females and have a black patch on their throat. You can see the two genders side by side here. The one on the left is female and the one on the right is a male. House sparrows chirp a lot, and I really mean a lot. If you hear noisy cheeping, then it's probably a bunch of sparrows. These birds are very widespread indeed, and you can find them nearly everywhere, from parks to cities, and from farms to your local high street. Where there are humans, there are usually thriving sparrows, and this is because the threat of predators, such as hawks, is greatly reduced. House sparrows are diurnal, which means that they are most active during the day, and they generally spend their time hopping along the ground in search of food, and this includes seeds and insects. Sparrows also eat from bird feeders. I can assure you that they are frequent visitors to mine. I give them sunflower seeds, red milos, and perhaps some mealworms too. I'll get into bird feeders later, and it's extremely enjoyable watching these sociable birds flutter about and peck each other for a spot on the feeder. The nest is built by both parents in a tree or building, and they'll defend a small territory around the nest to protect the eggs and chicks inside. Females lay around 5 eggs per clutch, and both parents participate in incubation duties. I'm showing you a sparrow egg here. It takes two weeks for eggs to hatch into chicks, and a fortnight after that, the juveniles begin to grow feathers and leave the nest. According to the RSPB, UK house sparrow numbers fell by a shocking 71% between 1977 and 2007. Its conservation status is currently red. You can help sparrows by setting up a bird feeder. I might do a video on this in the future, but here are two tips for success. Firstly, you should put your bird feeder near a bush or a large tree. This will provide cover for the sparrows and protect them from predators. Hygiene is essential, so make sure you clean your feeder every time the food runs out. I recommend using a wet wipe and a stick. We don't want our birds to get sick, do we? Another way you can aid our house sparrows is to keep your cat away from the garden, if you have one of course. Cats in the UK kill 27 million birds a year. You guys stuck around until the end for a little secret. So here it is. Did you know that house sparrows are actually an invasive species? I'll leave you to think about that one. Anyway, that's all for today. As ever, the sources are in the description. I'll see you later. Goodbye.